Hello everybody, Green Man Gaming's Black Friday sales started and there's a bunch of really good deals that I'm going to bring to your attention in this video. I'm going to do two videos on this. I'm going to do one with like all the big known games like Borderlands 3 for example and then I'm also going to do one on some of the lesser known games that are also on sale. But the big theme for this Black Friday sale on Green Man Gaming is that there are several games that if you buy you get a pack of five free games. Um, it's like an Intel Star starter pack it could come with games like Adventure Capitalist, Arizona Sunshine, Gas Guzzlers Extreme, uh, I know Killing Floor is in there, same with Sprint Vector, uh, Star Trek Bridge Crew, there's stuff for like Terra and Neverwinter if you're into those MMOs, there's also There Came an Echo, Warhammer, End Times Vermintide, like there's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, there's also a lot of other things that I probably wouldn't play, but for the most part, you know, you can fight for games out of it and there's some really good deals so not only are you getting good deals on big games but you're also able to gain a bunch of free games on top of that if you plan to pick anything up in this sale please do use our affiliate link which is in the description and in the comments it helps support the channel and it requires you to do nothing but use the link with that being said let's jump into the games these are all games that are big well-known titles as I've mentioned before and all of them come with the plus five free games which is also quite nice. So the first game is of course Borderlands 3 and this is a really good discount on a game that just recently came out. I would highly suggest Borderlands 3 if you're someone who's played the other games or you're just into games like Destiny, you know, like looter shooters or even games like Diablo. This will be right up your alley. It's got a interesting humor to it and if you're not into the humor it does really negate how much fun you can have with the game but if you're playing with friends it also increases that value quite a bit and because it is such a discount you probably will find friends who don't own it yet and will be willing to pick it up as a side note this is an epic game store game currently it's not on steam yet it is coming to steam next year but this key that you would be getting is an epic game store game key so just kind of keep that in mind additionally if you've never played borderlands before you can go pick up borderlands the handsome collection for a deep deep discount that's borderlands 2 with all of the really good dlc that's there so that i think is one of the best jumping on points they do have the original borderlands but at the same time that's a much older game you're not going to get much out of it. Uh, if anything, if you if you really don't want to jump back that far, uh, but you're still kind of interested in getting into Borderlands, you know, with Borderlands 2, then it's possible for you to go watch our series that we did on the original Borderlands, and I'll put the link to that in the description. My next big suggestion is The Outer Worlds, and this game just came out, and it's already at a huge discount on Green Man Gaming, plus you get the five free games, so like, totally worth it. This is a fantastic RPG. If you're into games like Skyrim or Fallout, more specifically Fallout, then you're going to find a lot to love in this game because they basically took their Fallout model because Obsidian are the people who made The Outer Worlds, and they are responsible for Fallout New Vegas, so if you like their kind of games, their style of storytelling, then you will really like The Outer Worlds. It's witty, it's fun, and it's amazing. Again, we're doing a series on it. You can go watch it in the description. Maybe you like shooters, but you're not into RPGs. In that case, I would suggest going and picking up Rainbow Six Siege. You can get the base game, the standard game, for like seven bucks. It's really cheap. And you get the five free games with it. So like that's a really good way to get that five free game package if you're really interested in those games. Also, on top of that, you could get the ultimate or deluxe editions of the games. Those come with a bit more content. The standard edition, I'll tell you, is totally fine. It just means that you're going to have to unlock some operators as you play, which are, you know, the characters that you play as in the game. You're not going to have access to everybody, and that's totally fine. It's, it's fine to have something to work toward, right? I would suggest the standard version of the game if you haven't started playing this yet. Uh, on top of that, I should mention that the game entirely is really, really populated. There's a ton of people that still play this game on PC, so don't worry about going into like dead servers. But if you're interested in maybe getting some additional content on top of that, or you already own the game, the year four pass is 
also on sale for heavy discount. That's going to give you all of the operators from this past year and a bunch of cosmetics and some some credits and stuff like that to be able to spend within the game. So that is an option for people who already own Rainbow Six Siege. My next suggestion is an incredible game, especially if you're into big RPGs, which is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. If you're a person who has played the other Assassin's Creed games and maybe you started getting bored of the formula or you just didn't really like where they were going with it, then this is probably an excellent game for you because this is the first game to really, in my opinion, change it up significantly enough where it feels like a different thing is going on within the game. Yes, it's Assassin's Creed, but it is set in a really cool Greek time and all of the additional content that they've added to the game is just 10 out of 10. Like the season pass stuff is really good, which by the way, the season pass is also discounted. They have the deluxe gold and ultimate editions here as well, but for the most part, I think that picking up the standard edition of the game, just the base game, and then playing through it, you are going to get a lot of value out of how much money you're actually spending there. There's a lot of gameplay to be had. And this is one of those games that it's really easy to play and get lost in for like several hours. And I love big RPGs like that. And this game is definitely no exception. So yeah, for sure, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is a 10 out of 10 game for me. And maybe you're looking for big open world games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but maybe it's not quite hitting the right itch. Well, Red Dead Redemption 2 did just come out on PC. So if you missed this on console, it is possible to go play this on PC now. And of course, it is now on sale, which is crazy to think about because like it just came out on PC. But the fact that it's already on sale at a pretty nice discount already is is very very nice and of course red dead redemption 2 has its online component now so there's a bunch of stuff to be had with this game a bunch of fun to be had and if you're into kind of more the western thing or additionally just the the rockstar kind of version of games then yeah red dead redemption 2 is fan freaking tastic on top of that maybe you do like those rockstar games and you haven't picked up grand theft auto 5 yet well it's also on sale you can get the premium online edition or the standard edition or just, you know, different shark card bundles if you're playing online, which is, yeah, that's poopy in my opinion. Just get the premium online edition or the standard edition, depending on kind of what you feel like you plan on doing. The The story in Grand Theft Auto V is really well done and the acting is uh, incredible. Like just base Grand Theft Auto V is a lot of fun. But if you wanted to play the online component, then there's additional options for you here as well. So just in case you're into the Red Dead Redemption 2 thing and maybe you want a little bit more out of that, then Grand Theft Auto V is also an option. For you strategy fans out there, Civilization VI Gathering Storm, which is the second expansion for Civ VI, is also on a massive sale, like almost half off, which is incredible. I think Gathering Storm is the expansion that makes Civ VI a better game than Civ V. There's a lot to be loved with the weather effects and the environmental changes, but just in general, the changes to the base game, you know, like uh, how different things with the strategy now work because of all of the additions with Gathering Storm. It just makes Civ VI feel way better than it did before. Like even the past expansion was really good with Rise and Fall, but for the most part, Gathering Storm, I think is a far superior expansion that adds a lot more meat to the game. And Civilization V is one of the possible games you can get out of the five free games. So keep that in mind. You actually may get Civ V and Civ VI uh, out of a single purchase of Civ VI. But if you need the Gathering Storm expansion or even the Rise and Fall expansion, then those are on sale and it is options for you to pick up. Personally, I love strategy games. I love 4X games. And when Civ 6 first came out, it was good, but it wasn't great. Like Civ 5 was still the better game. And even with Rise and Fall, the game was still good, but not great. But like I said, Gathering Storm is the thing that elevates it to the next level. So if you're into 4X games or you want to get into them, then Civ 6 is a good starting point. And with Gathering Storm, it makes it a better game than Civ 5, like I said before. Just keep in mind that this game is a time vampire. You're going to lose entire afternoons or days to this game, and you're not even going to know why. You're just going to sit down and start playing, and then you're going to be like, oh, I'll play for two hours, and then at lunch, you know, I'll take a break, and then it'll be dinner time by the time you actually stand up to go pee for the first time that entire day. It's one of those games, so be aware. With that being said, my final game for my recommendations of like the big games that are on sale is Monster Hunter World. 
as I've learned with many conversations with friends who really enjoy this game, I feel like I need to put the caveat out there that this is a very Japanese game. If you're not into like Japanese style games that have weird JRPG mechanics or just like j- just weird Japanese weirdness, like because that's that's the only way that I could put it, then you might want to avoid it. But if you don't mind that kind of thing or you're really interested in it, then Monster Hunter World is going to be your jam. It is really, really good. And I just love how the game plays. It is solid. It's really enjoyable. The action in it is fun and entertaining and they keep adding new content to it which just keeps making the game better and better so like the end game of monster hunter world keeps expanding with the different stuff so you have the standard and deluxe edition here up for sale both of them are good versions but if you're just jumping in for the first time go in on standard additionally if you happen to have xbox game pass you can go try monster hunter world out and see if you like it or not and if that's the case if you do go you know play it for free and you're like oh my game pass is wearing out and you want to buy it on pc because the pc version is definitely superior then definitely go pick it up at this crazy sale price but there you go that is my short and sweet little list of big games that are on sale i'm gonna like i said gonna be doing a second video of much smaller games much smaller titles that you may not know are on sale and things that may be in the vip section for green man gaming which the way that you get access to that is you just have to spend a bit of money on there and actually be a person who is like on the storefront and then at that point you'll be able to get access to some additional discounts which are really really solid but with that said you know just the black friday sale in general is super strong and green man gaming has always done a really good job of discounting games slightly lower than everybody else so you tend to get a lot of good deals here personally i buy almost a hundred percent of my pc games off of green man gaming nowadays and again if you're going to jump on and check some stuff out make sure you use our affiliate link which is in the description and in the comments just using that link will support the channel if you buy anything and you don't have to do anything other than use the link which is a great little addition to how the affiliate system works Additionally, if you have any suggestions for any big games that are on sale, then definitely put them in the comments or even any little small things that you want me to add in the more indie video, then go ahead and put those in the comments below too, because that helps people who are looking for additional games that they may not have suggested, or maybe that didn't quite scratch the itch of stuff that they were looking for. But with all that being said, I will come back with that second video and we shall see you guys next time.